Hey guys, it's Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs and I wanted to show you our correlations um, that we have within player cards. So if you click on a player's name from any tool, there's a tab on the player card called correlations. And if you click on that, we have the correlation, the average points and the count, which is the number of games for teammates of that player over the past 12 months. And so um, these numbers show basically how linked a player's production is to his teammates. So we're looking at Russell Wilson, um, and uh, the correlations go from negative one, uh, which is a perf perfectly negative uh, correlation, to one, which is a per perfectly positive correlation. And the higher the number, the more linked the player's production is in a positive way, meaning that as one increases, the other increases. As one decreases, the other decreases. Um, and negative one is the opposite. As one increases, the other decreases. Um, so if we look at Tom Brady uh, over the past 12 months, the player whose production uh, has been most correlated to his is Gronkowski. And that is fairly obvious. Uh, Gronk scores um, a bunch of touchdowns when he scores touchdowns, Brady um, threw him those touchdowns. And so it's pretty obvious to see how their production is correlated, how um, uh, as one goes up, the other does as well and vice versa. If Tom Brady doesn't throw any touchdowns, Gronk almost certainly had a bad game. And so that's um, fairly obvious and very common with stacking in NFL. Um, similarly, you'll see Brady uh, has a negative correlation to a lot of running backs on his team or his defense. Um, as uh, as LeGarrette Blunt um, does well, uh, someone who's touchdown dependent doesn't catch a ton of passes. Probably he's stealing some points from Brady. If the New England defense does really really well, chances are the the Patriots are up in the um, up in the game and maybe not throwing as much uh, later. So there's some obvious ones in a sport like NBA. Um, you can have correlations that maybe aren't as obvious, but very, very important because uh, players do uh, tend to cannibalize one another in the sport more so than others. So every point for Drew Holiday is, is a, uh, other than assist situations, is a negative for his own teammates. And so you can see he's very positively correlated. Point four, four or five is a really high strength of correlation to Tyreek Evans um, in the 35 games they've played together thus far this year. And a fairly strong negative correlation to um, Solomon Hill. And so the, the, this is uh, potentially really useful information when constructing tournament lineups where correlations are really, really important. You want to use correlations to increase the ceiling of your lineup or increase the floor of your lineup. And um, looking at uh, how production is linked among teammates is um, perhaps the easiest way to do that.